I'm back. Right, it's been a while, ain't gonna lie. Welcome back. Right. Um, I had quite a few pieces of stuff going on, so I haven't done much on the pond build, which has been driving me nuts. Um, but I've got a few days off work. Um, if it weren't the weather, i.e. the high winds, etc., it was something else. So uh, managed to get a little bit done um, in the week uh, since the last video. Um, I did do some recording, but it's been that long, I can't remember what it was. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you uh, by spinning you around and then you'll see what progress uh, I've made. Bear with me. Right then, so this all looking good in there. It's warmer today, so it's about 10 degrees. Um, and they've seen me come out, I've just moved the boards back uh, and they're all look, looking for a little bit of food, but that said, um, all looking fine, which is nice. So, have a look round. Right, you see that I've done a little bit more digging. I had to put a chicken wire up because the dogs, uh, not that it's mad to be honest, because they carry on doing what they do. But um, more earth's been pushed up. We've got a, today, um, what my goals are is I want to get round the edges now. Uh, finish digging out this little part here uh, and then um, I'm going to start collapsing um, this part of the wall here um, move that round the back and then uh, get ready to square this part off here All right and then once we've got this part done uh, my next aim is to get rid of that lot there um, create my boundary and then um, we'll dig into that. But before we do that, um, what's going to happen is, let me just move this out of the way. So on this side, what we're going to do is, uh, here, uh, what we've decided is where we're creating a raised uh, flower bed on this side. Uh, the pathway's going to come down there, just to remind you. And then round here, um, before I start doing this side of the pond uh, dig, um, I'm going to rehome, um, or should I say, pull these aces up. I think there's like one two three four five five aces there uh, and the buddha as well we're going to move them out and then we're going to extend the, the raised flower bed out a little bit um or uh, it give me a place to put my earth so when it comes down to tidying this side up um i can start living the ground because the ground goes like this well it gradually goes there there and then down again so i'm trying to level that off with some of the earth from in the pond so yeah, so target for today then is get round the edges, right round the edges, including this back wall, and then see if we can start taking the remainder of these bricks away, um, including this side and all of these. Lift these slabs up and then find out what's under there. So, so don't go anywhere. Um, I'm going to film me digging, not loads anyway. Um, I'll come back bit on bit as you're doing the pond builds. Um, anyway, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Crafty Quick. Stay tuned, I'm digging. <laughs>
at the start that was done just before Christmas before I had my uh, nut job spell but um, I have done a little bit more since so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to spin you around and show you the, uh, the bomb site that we've created so anyway welcome back to Crafty Queen so then the pond itself all right, not much change with regards to the digging. But one thing I didn't take into account is the footings. As you can see, um, this wind's probably gonna be creating an issue, but all the way round is the footings. So I've still got a little bit more to break up, so that'll be my job for today. But you can see everywhere around there, all the way round has been done. I've started on the old base over here as well, um, where the Nexus used to stand. So, what's next? We are getting rid of this. We've got some sleepers in. Uh, you'll see them a little bit later on. We are gonna build uh, a retaining wall down here and then down there. And it's gonna go a bit further up to where the edge of um, this is here, the light shuttering just there. And then you're gonna go all the way back over there. So from there, um, we can then transfer any soil into a raised flower bed that the aces will go in so from here right so one thing that we weren't aware of is you can see how high the wall used to be from the the different color on the fence well all that brick's now gone as you can see and you can see down here now um you can see down here that the actual level of next door's garden is at the same so i need to sweet talk um the old girl next door to let let us uh take this fence panel out here so we can then bring a digger in and because obviously we've been knocked back because i had a bit of a uh, a spell um we're going to bring a mini digger in onto here and then once this is all broken up we're then gonna get the digger out and get everything else dug now in the meantime i'm gonna spin you around now in the meantime we've got uh, I've got to go and get the um, the sleepers from off the front. Um, I'm going to get the Kanga drill out, do a little bit more breaking today. Um, we have got a skip coming. Uh, that skip will go in the front, and then all of this uh, all of this broken concrete and all the other brick um, that will that'll all go in the skip, along with some of the other shit that we've created, like the wood at the bottom. If we if we've got no use for it, so now one thing i was planning on doing is just behind me there the window there it's our kitchen i was going to put um just underneath the window there i was going to put a water point um and then go for a trickle in and trickle out system but um i've decided that i'm not going to do that now uh, and the reason for that is because after listening uh to ricky stoddart on koi wholesales uh, talk question and answers um I was a little bit worried about um, the balance of the chlorine and etc that comes in the water um, and I don't want to constantly pump water into uh, the pond you know for weeks on end without with with the chlorines going up and down you know I think that, that defeats the object of what it is that you're trying to do you know that's my choice I'm not saying that it's right or wrong but that's the way that I'm going to do it I've never had a trickling before I've never had a problem so you know all i'll simply do is i will have i will have a water point to the pond um that go through you know uh, the correct the correct filtration that you require like the big blue etc but um it's not going to be a constant feed and the reason for that is like i've just said the other thing what i'll do is i'll test the water um every time it comes to topping up so um you know when i've cleaned my filters dump the water through that do that on a two on a twice cycle I'll then fill the water back up, but I will make sure that I test it for chlorine before uh, before it goes into the pond. And that way, I can I can adjust what I need to adjust before it goes back in. So, um, but that, you know, if I if I need to change it, I can change it. Uh, nothing wrong with changing it. The the other thing that um, I'm looking at doing is future proofing, but I'll I'll, uh, I'll explain that um, later on when the pond build actually comes on a little bit more. So as you can see right the old uh the old computer chip in the in the head's working a little bit better than it was so we're getting back on it so 
stay tuned. I'll, I'll do a little bit so you can see what I'm doing and then uh, we'll, we'll whack it in the video. Until then, stay safe. Let's have a look. So what have I done since last time? I didn't finish off when um, I didn't finish off when I finished last time. The wind's still blowing the hooli after um, the storm. Got a little bit of tidying up to do. And the ace has gone down there. The hide boo. I hope that's not too broken. But you can see now. All the concrete has been removed. Big old load of boulders there. Um, all of the footings have come out of there and that's been broke up, ready to be shipped when the skip arrives uh, next week. So next stage, you can see we've got the sleepers. We managed to get all them sorted now. So they're in the garden ready to go. So what we're now gonna do is, we're gonna move this, get some of that put back. Uh, and then start getting the sleeper wall in there and then down the side. So, uh, see the squirrel just giving it a leg down there, but on the tree it is what it is. So, yeah, over here, see the fish looking quite good over there. Quite active actually, um, it's quite nice to see. Got a little, got a little bit of pox on them, but nothing too drastic. So, so anyway, let me spin you around. Just want to take this opportunity, guys. See, I've had a trim. Uh, want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for all their support. Um, it's been a long time coming. I'm still not 100% fixed up, but I'm better than what I was. I had a bit of a meltdown at the weekend, um, but to be expected. So, but nevertheless back on it uh, let's see what we can achieve so thanks for tuning in again really appreciate all your support I'll be back in a minute right guys I've already done a bit of work so apologies this video is a little bit bitty but given the circumstances not done too bad so since the last episode I still had a bit of a wobble um, but I feel good today so I've been out uh, doing a little bit more so I'm just going to spin you round and then show you where we are so far and what I've managed to achieve. So, fishes again. Right, so this one's got raised scales, so I need to grab that out at some point to give it a little bit of treatment. As you can see, I missed some by eight time here. Yeah. Right, so we've been cracking on. Now then, so sleepers, as you can see, what I've done here, um, what I wanted to do here was actually take these curb stones up, these edging stones, 
but underneath there was a huge amount of concrete and given the fact that i've already done all that i couldn't be asked to start breaking loads more so all i've done is laid them against the edge um, that should give it a little bit for the water to sit off of it off the front anyway but as you can see what we're starting to do so the mud that's already come out from the dig right we're going to go another one high um, so we're going to have three across there down the side so here that's the side of the pond um, so as i come through um, you'll see there excuse the dog mess right you'll see there what i've done is i've strapped every single one up for all the joins and then also down in the corners as well so now next phase is once that bit's done okay we're going to go uh, we're going to put another load in there so i probably need to get one or two more uh, sleepers that have gone up and then where where the sleepers are now i'm going to create a small little wall there so that's facing that wall we're never going to see it so i am putting it in this wood so you'll see from that um, you know we should have quite a large flower bed or raised bed for all the aces that are dotted around Lovely like little fat buddhas going green like the hulk so you see them from in here all right so we're gonna off there i'm gonna, I'm gonna come off there about a foot so i can run the pipe work down the side where this um this steel is there that is going to be the end of the pond build just there so standing in it you've got a bit of work to do that's all going in the week i've got a week off work so i will be filming and then hopefully get this panel out so i can get the digger in um however when you actually look at the scheme of things because this this part of the uh, garden is higher than this side there's not so much earth to come out of that so um i'm hoping um well i'm not hoping i think that what we may be able to do is completely fill that flower bed uh to about two inches from the top so i can then put some deck through bark down and then put the trees in before the spring arrives uh that the reason why you do that with your acer is because at the minute they're dormant right so any any transfer and is not so damaging to the root ball you won't um you shouldn't stress out your tree or your plant whatever you want to call it um because at the at the moment with the way that they work is that all their energy is being held in the base of the tree and into the root uh, when that warmer weather comes that's when it starts to generate a bit of uh, more growth in the root as soon as that then happens it then generate the growth into the actual bush itself uh, but different aces start that process at different times so um, you can catch them in the frost but in the ground jobs are good right all that's going to come out and you can see um now i'm feeling a little bit better i'm not fully better i thought i was but i'm not um we're starting to make progress again so i'm just going to spin you back around so i've been meaning to get a video out for some time but because i've been so bitty um and because of the nature of the work that i've been doing there hasn't really been loads of stuff that's entertaining enough or anything to document other than the same old crap such as digging or you know shifting bricks so um off the back of that all right we're back on it um a lot of work ahead however um right work built in a day so at the end of the day given given the um the anxiety that i'm getting at the moment um given the dates not dates someone just texted me with it i didn't mean that so uh given given the um the severity of my anxiety and ptsd that's come on um you know i just haven't really had time so i was out here last week um and because i couldn't do what i wanted out like off the front of that it triggered my anxiety and i was really poorly again it's just it was just mental but hey -o it was mental as well wasn't it? um it's what it is but um 
videos here thanks for all the support from you guys uh, thanks for all the people that are asking for updates and wishing me well really really appreciate it um, you know one thing one thing I will say um, one thing that I will say is that um, I need to cut that bit off One thing I will say is, God, I must have wasted about 30 seconds then trying to remember what I said because people are texting as I'm filming. Um, if you haven't already, have a look at Koi, Koi Wholesale for those of you that have got a Koi and a Koi Pond. Uh, Koi Pond. Um, co co founder of Koi Talk Magazine, Ricky Stoddart. Uh, he does QA sessions. Uh, I've been in one. Uh, one session at the height of the anxiety um, which Ricky was very supportive of cheers Ricky um, awesome so one thing one thing I'm not sure I might have already put it in the, um, the video already but I was going to have a trickle in and out system but I'm not anymore after hearing about all of the um, the evils that come with the water the chlorine in the water I just I don't want that so I'm going to stay to what I am with my old nexus you know, and then when I do a clean, I'll just do I'll just do a top up. Still have water coming in by the big blues and whatnot, but it just won't be on a constant trickle in, trickle out. You know, keep it simple, as Ricky says. So if you haven't already, have a look at his channel because it's uh, it's very good. He has people in, judges, etc., uh, asking questions and uh, answers. And I know Phil from Ke uh, Telford Koi Pond's been on as well. Um, and he raised a few eyebrows on a couple of his questions. That was a good sesh, actually, Phil. Um, right. Anyway, I'm Crafty Coy. I'm back. Um, not sure how often, but I'm back anyway. I've got a week off work next week, so hopefully you get a decent amount of footage. Hopefully the old the old ticker uh, stays sane. And um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, and also um, the notification bell. Um, stay safe everyone again thanks for all the support very blessed be safe welcome back another episode crafty koi sunday morning don't feel too bad today which is good um, I've already put my first video out, so this is the start on the Sunday. The weather is glorious. You wouldn't think it was the end of Feb, um, but it is. So, right, what have we got on today? So, you would have seen I've already started on the on the sleeper pond. Uh, sorry, the sleeper build for the um, for the raised bed in the middle. Um, what we're going to do today, well, plans are to continue on with that i don't know how far i'm going to get depends how i feel throughout the day um but nevertheless um let's see how it goes so stay tuned 